yes, body boot. So, you might notice that I'm in the same clothes as the last video, and that is because I am. <laughs> Apart from not wearing my hat. And the reason is, is because I've recorded both of these videos in one day. So, it's Boxing Day, and as you know, Boxing Day is a day after Christmas, obviously. But it's the day where you go out to the Boxing Day sales, you try some products, but also you try some products that you got for Christmas presents. And I am going to be reviewing, reacting, testing out this product that I was gifted by my brother Lee. Okay, so Little Mix has paired up with Simple, the um, skincare company, and they have released some skincare products, which is fabulous. So not have they only released makeup, they now have some um, products that you can take that makeup off with. <laughs> so yes, so anyways, I think... It this tin I'm definitely keeping because look at this and like see there's loads of positivity things and like self-empowerment and I just love it like it see strong believe powerful talented friendship inspired driven powerful confident beautiful strong and I'm like yes queens not only are they just like fabulous and talented but they are body positivity and empowering bloody mentors that's what they are they are goddesses like i love them so to have this little tin this is this is cute as it is like i don't know if my brother thought or or if it was my brother's fiance that was like oh i'll get that for john but i don't know if they were doing it intentionally because of the tin or if they just know that i like beauty products probably maybe it's a bit of both we don't know but anyways i shall open the tin and show you what products are so to be honest with you i'm not gonna lie i didn't know that these products existed so here we are it's very exciting to me so in this little tin i don't know if this is the full range of um simple art limited edition it's limited edition girls and boys somewhere in between we celebrate all we appreciate all we love all nothing but positivity on this channel so anyways so it's a limited edition so maybe they don't even sell these anymore but i'm still going to test them out for you because that's the kind of person i am so in this little tin in the range that I've got, so I don't know if this is the full range, this is the half of the range, this is maybe they might be doing more um what am I thinking? They might be working more with simple. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you have your wipes, you make wipes. For taking off your makeup like i mentioned of the little mix house their own beauty range so this will help taking them off then you have your um micellar clean some water you have like your clean water so so then after that you have your um moisturizing facial wash you have some hydrating booster that's for under your eyes i think maybe some wrong we believe in kindness to skin our planet with the three ways of using it as a hydration primer layer oh apply small amounts all over the face before your daily moisturizing a moist uh, uh, as a booster, add a few drops to your favourite simple daily moisturiser. Oh, I don't have a simple moisturiser, but I do have a moisturiser. 
so I'll use that with this so maybe set after all of that so then you have your skin mask your skin mask your face your face sheet mask rich moisturizing and you also have your brightening under eye hydro hydro dyslexia i can't pronounce it your under eyes brightening eye mask this is the thing right when you go out and you buy pretty products or why do they always have like fancy dancy words like i can't read it like when you go to the pharmacy and they'll be like so why is it you want in shannon because shannon's my real name if you're just joining us now it's not for you but shannon because they give you your christian name or miss boyd very official very sophisticated very posh I want medication and I'm like I don't know because I can't pronounce it because I'm not a scientist I'm just a normal girl living in a muggle world okay so so <laughs> I'm gonna take well first of all I think the first step is is to get this mop out of the face yard so I'm gonna tie my hair up and I'll be with you in a ski whip. So I've tied my hair up. I've got my little face mask headband on because my hair is clean. I don't want to get things in it. So I think the first thing to do is since I've got makeup on is to remove it with these wipes. So um, as I've talked about in this channel before that i have i struggle a little bit with my skin so um it's it can be very sensitive to some products and once i like under this makeup under this flawlessness <laughs> i do have like blemishes i have pimples i've got like um like scarring off um when I had a lot of spots when well I, I I wouldn't say it was acne when I was younger and also um like red marks kind of like scald marks but they're not scald marks I think it's just sun damage it's my own fault I should have took better care but now I'm an adult and I do adult things I look after my skin now so but I do use a lot of body shop products and so far I'm safe with them so simple i think i've only used simple being honest yeah being honest honesty is the best policy i've only used moisturizing cream from um simple i've never really used anything else so i guess it's a good thing to try to do this kind of video see if it reacts with my skin it would be good to find like a product like this that is good for all types of skin so yes, let's stop with the blabbering on and just take the flipping makeup off, Shannon. Boys. So um yes. And you know I hate taking off my glasses because glass my glasses are part of who I am. It is my identity and I just look weird without them. So just don't judge, okay? You probably won't judge, but in my head you are. So this is why we need this tin. This is why we need positivity. Right. Just checking. Okay. Where did I put my glasses? My glasses, my glasses. I can't find my glasses. So 
well that is makeup off have, has it come off my eyebrows now it has so <laughs> there we are so i'm going to give you a close-up of my skin so you can see a little bit plimply a little bit blemishes it can be very dry i get dry patches and scar well it's not really that bad sometimes in the cold weather i like to come up but so far it doesn't look too bad so next i think we'll probably be so do i use this first or do i use the moisturizing i think it's this first then this yes i think so let's move into the bathroom so now in the bathroom sorry if it's a little bit dark i'm sorry okay so <laughs> So I'm going to be cleansing my face with this water. I think the best thing to realise and to know is that there's no right or wrong way of beauty. You know, and with when it comes to skincare, there's no right or wrong way. There's no like rules on how you should remove your makeup or look after your skin. People use different products people use they have different regimes they have different ways of using products and taking them off and like some people for example for me when i i normally do my beauty in the bath but i don't think you want to see all my bits and bobs but i normally just wash my um like this kind of stuff off with a flannel but some people would rather just wash it off over the base and some people will use like proper pads and that and that's all right you do it your way and i'll do it my way okay so i think that's just the best way and it, as well as with makeup i think the greatest thing about makeup is like as i've said in the last video i'm still learning about makeup and i'm 24 you know and there's a lot of people that are still learning and still experimenting with makeup and that's okay. So I don't think, I think as women we should, and this is one of the best parts about a little mix, is that they're very feminist and they are very, they know how to empower women and they're all about women should stick together and I 100% agree. I think as women, we should be each other's, like, helpline. We should take each other under our wing. And if, instead of, like, seeing someone that is, say, you think, oh, they make up, it doesn't look right. It's a little bit patchy. They're wearing too much um, highlighter. They're wearing too much eyeshadow. Don't be like, oh, your makeup's wrong. Or bitch about them and be like, oh, look at their makeup. Be like, help them, you know, just, just, or just appreciating that they're trying, you know. Like, there's no rules for makeup at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if you think, oh, well, her eyeshadow's a little bit dark. Her lipstick's black. Why is she wearing black lipstick? As long as she's feeling fierce and when she walks out the house and she's feeling comfortable and she's feeling like a goddess, she's feeling like a queen, that's all that matters, okay? Like, don't be going and raining around her parade and making her feel crap when she feels like she's like 100% flawless, you know? Like, that's what makes us about. It's not like, like the comments where, oh, you're too pretty for makeup. No, it's like, I wear makeup because it makes me feel pretty, okay? Like, it makes me feel confident. I don't wear makeup all the time, and that's okay. And some ma people wear makeup all the time, and that's okay, you know? I think we're all different, we're all unique, and I think that's what should be celebrated instead of, like, people that don't look like you and you think that they should. I think we should just appreciate that we're all human and we're all doing the best that we can. You know, and we should just be celebrated for who we are and not who we're not. 
So yes, I'm sorry about this little rant, but there we are. <laughs> this was just in case you thought, oh, well, she's doing that um, order wrong, or she's removing her makeup wrong, or whatever. There's no rules, so if, if I am doing it wrong, who cares? I mean, it all has the same effect, basically, doesn't it? Basically, let's just be honest, it does, doesn't it? Basically, has the same effect. But anyways, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this. And how do you supply generous amounts to a cotton pad? Oh, well, I don't have any of them. Wipe the pad all around the face. No need to rub for you to get into your eyes. No need to rinse after. Oh, so maybe it's Ah. Okay. Okay. Let's just do it. Okay. But we're going to be trying all these products anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Like I say, it's so the whole rule. So it's all right. Or wrong. <laughs> Let me just get my little. I don't know what these are called, but I use it a lot. Like it's hard, but then when you put it in water, it's like it goes soft. My, there we are, there we are. Just didn't have the plug in. I was thinking, oh, I saw it running out. <laughs> right, okay. I'm just. gonna go for it oh it comes out fast guys it comes out fast the fired eyes what did I do I just put that in my eye <laughs> Right, and then I'm gonna. I know what you don't have to rinse off, but I'm gonna rinse it off just because I'm using this much. Okay, I'm just gonna dab. Da, da, da. So far with this product, with the wipes, I should say, I didn't really have a problem with the wipes. Like they did a good job, they removed all the makeup. Um, they didn't sting. Sometimes when I use um makeup wipes, they sting my skin, but they were good. This, my skin is starting to sting a little bit. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Because sometimes it's good when it stinks because it's doing a good job. Or sometimes it just means like it's not meant for you. But it's, it kind of feels as if it's dried out my skin. But it doesn't really tell you what it's for. It just says... Oh well. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is the moisturising facial face mask. Hopefully this will make my skin a lot smoother. My, did I just say mask? I meant wash. Okay. Use. How does it say you should use it? How to use in your hands and work small amounts in a lever. Massage onto wet skin, avoid getting into your eyes. Okay, so I need wet skin to start with. Get my meat for the animal. I'm gonna put a little bit 
Lil B. Not your bay, no. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, it kind of goes like foamy. Oh. Let's see. Kind of goes foamy. Oh, it feels very thick. Yeah, she's thick, and she got her. So with it being a wash, uh, I suppose you just rub it in then rinse it right off. So I didn't really tell you, so that's one of the bad things, I think. Doesn't really explain that much. It's good, it explains how to use it and what not to do, or recommendations, but it doesn't really say if you just wash it straight off, does it? Or rinse before, yes. Yeah. So you just massage it in and rinse it off with water. That's my fault. That's my bad. I didn't read it right. So I'm going to take it off. Oh, my headband's falling off. Woman at me, like a woman at me, da 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 woman at me. Woman at me, yes, a woman at me. Soon I push up on her and get to the back of me. I ain't no bad at me, I'm fine. Just like me. Okay. Oh. So I have rinsed it all off properly, but the problem is, so my skin feels very like still dry, but like sticky. Give us a moment and I'm going to rinse it properly, see if that makes any difference. So I've rinsed my face like properly, like fully, and it still feels the same, like it feels like, 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 I don't know, it kind of just feels as if like if I did that, my, my hands are just like sticking, as if it's like, you know, like a tyre on a road where it's like sticks. You know, like it just feels as if there's no like moisture in my face at all. Oh, I feel so terrible. I feel horrible. But like I say as before, like some products don't work for everyone. And I think this is just, it's not working for me, for me. Okay, so I'm going to use the next one is the face mask see if this made in Korea good old Korea you know and young as they are and young boy you know so <coughs> it's a good thing oh this is doing my head and it's falling off right okay so how long do I need to put this on for remove the mask from the sachet Gently unfold, place the mask and leave for 15 minutes. Okie dokie. Oh, there's a lot of, lot of moisture. Oh, I should have dropped my glasses off. <laughs> that would be helpful, Shannon. Almost just broke my glasses. Right, okay. So, gently unfold. Not very gentle, delicate person, gentle in nature, but in hands. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right. I bet you there's a so there's a such more easier way of doing it than this, but it's me that's doing it. Okay, I have used a sheet mask before. If you've seen, if you go from my from my channel, you'll see that I use animal face masks, but it kind of looks like a panda. Let's get it on. Back on, get it on. Oh. Okay, let's just, oh, chin's bit. Roll the pull it up. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Why am I feeling? Okay, is that it? I think that's it. That's it. There we are. She's on. She is on. Oh, my nose. What's happened to my nose? There we are. She's on rolling it. She is getting it on. She is on. I'll see you in 15 minutes. <laughs> So, oh my god, this is so steaming up. So I waited 15 minutes. I watched the whole of Rowley's piercing in your own belly button. And it was just horrific. It was gruesome. It was why people do that. I don't know. My face is... It just feels the same. <laughs> like, I don't know. It just feels sticky and clacky. And I have washed it off properly, but I don't know. So let's do these. Oh, they're like jelly. <laughs> okay, so let's just warp it on. Like that. I do need these because lately the bags under my eyes are starting. What? Oh, okay. I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know if you can see the bags, they're pretty bad, aren't they? Like, the bags under my eyes are going designer. They're like almost sleeping bags. Oh, this one's not sticking. Oh, there we are. There we are. There we are. How long does this need to stay up for? Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll five minutes in. <laughs> so I took the eye mask off. So as I was saying earlier that I get scars. Look, you can see. So, yes, I'm going to, the last product is this product. So it's just like a little hydrating booster so I haven't got any simple um simple moisturizing cream so I'm gonna be using that own moisturizing cream from body shop the vitamin C moisturizing cream I'm just gonna be putting it on the back of my hand that's what I normally do anyways I put a generous amount on and then with this You've just got to put a few little drops in so well that's what i said anyways oh 
but I'm gonna just rub that in. So I've put on the moisturising cream, luckily that's kind of like smoothed out my skin. So my honest opinion, and this isn't a dig at Little Mix at all, it's not a dig at Simple, the products just don't suit my skin, I, like it doesn't work on my skin. But everyone's got different skin types so somebody could use these products and they could work for them and they could say like amazing effects but the um the products didn't work on my skin like i'm starting to come out in patches my skin felt all as it, it kind of just felt as if it like took all the moisture out of my skin and um I guess the only thing I liked was the under the eyes. Like, I do see a little bit of effect. I mean, people sitting at home might be thinking, oh, well, you've only just done it. You don't really see the effects. But normally with beauty, you'll see the effects straight away. And with the beauty products that I use from Body Shop, I'm not saying at all that... Um, you should don't buy from simple buy from the body shop that's not what i'm saying at all because like i'm saying some people might use body shop products on their face and they might get irritations from them them products or them products might work on them and they'll prefer simple which is fine like i say it's, there's no right or wrong at all and um but it, the products just didn't work for me and that's okay that's fine it's not the end of the world you know, but at the end of the day, if the products don't work for me, at least I've got an amazing tin. And at least I've tried the products, you know what I mean? So, yes, <laughs> I still love Little Mix and I still love everything they do. And one day I'm probably going to try out their makeup. <laughs> so, um, yes. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you don't think it's just negative because it's not. Um, It just... The products just didn't work for my skin. That's all. That's all. So don't be dumb. Click that button. Be gems and share with your friends. And I shall see you next time. Mm -hmm.